Hello everyone, today I will bring you a tutorial. Use the Blend Shape Exporter plugin to export 52 blend shapes of ARCAD at the specified LOD level or 263 blend shapes of MetaHuman and corresponding LOD body models from the DNA of UE 5.6. The exported models have correct UV and corresponding materials. Note that the plugin is only suitable for DNA generated by UE 5.6. Users can use these blend shapes to build their own bindings according to their binding rules. This will pick away from MetaHuman's binding logic limitations. Let's enter the tutorial below. This is a blank blueprint project I built in advance. Create a new plugins folder. Then copy the compiled plugin. Reopen the Uproject project. After open the project. At this time, we will see our plugin. It's an icon of a small head. Click it to open the plugin. To demonstrate how to use the plugin, first enable the MetHuman plugin. Open all MetaHuman related plugins. Then click Restart. Create a new MetaHuman character file. Name Demo. Then double click to open it. Here you can select from template in the conform mode. To build your own custom model bindings. Since this tutorial focuses on showing how to use plugins, so I won't introduce the custom binding operations here. We directly choose a character from the preset. This role is understood to be generated from its own custom model. Then we took off the clothes. It is convenient for us to observe whether the model's body is complete. The body NA generated with the construction of the clothing may cause the exported body model to be incomplete. At this time we click. Create full rig. To generate bindings, click Create Joint Only Rig is also OK. Here I accelerated the video because the process of generating bindings is long. After generating the binding, we can simply browse the binding effect. At this time, I want to export this binding. It prompts to download the map. Click to download the sticker. It also takes a little time to download the sticker. So the video is fast forward here. After the download is complete, select DCC export and set the export path. Then click Assemble to export. Browse to the exported folder. I found that there is body.dna inside. Head.dna. There are also some errors in that churnable to be an enemy's tool. At this time we open our 
Blend Shape Export Plugin. Select Head.DNA. Then set the export path of Blend Shape. Create a new folder at this time. Named BS Output. Let's create a new MetaHuman folder under the head folder. Because our plugin supports exporting two types of emoticons. One is MetaHuman, the other is Aka52. So we have built two types of folders in advance. We can export it to these two folders later. There are two options here. First choose MetaHuman. Then set OD to export. Can it LD0 to 7 volts? Here we choose 2. What needs to be remembered here is MetaHuman's head has 8 LOD levels. So it supports exporting LODs from 0 to 7. If it's a body, the body has only 4 LOD levels, so it is selected from 0 to 3. We can find it in our export folder. Blend shape has begun to gradually generate. OK, it's finished here. Similarly, we change the type to ARKit52. Then modify the generated path. Then click Generate. This will be generated in the specified directory. ARKit's 52 blend shapes. We can click on one randomly to see the effect. These generated blend shapes also use DNA. I'll put it in the download link in the video introduction. You can download and see if these generated files meet your project needs. Similarly, we open the body's DNA. Then set the output path of the body model. There are no two types of choices in the body, such as ARKit or MetaHuman. The rel generate by opens the sim. Then select LOD. It can generate the corresponding LOD body model in the corresponding directory. The tutorial ends here. If you are interested, you can download demo in the video link. See the export effect. Thanks for watching.